It's the Bo and Friends Show, Mix 100. My new friends here are Rick and Rich. World lacrosse is in town. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'll tell you what, we've got how many nations here? I mean, how many? We have 38 different nations here competing in the, in the World Games, and this is the biggest uh, international event that's happened in Colorado. Tickets are still available, but they're going fast and will sell out, and they're very affordable. You will feel the passion, um, just like you see on the on television with the World Cup. All 38 countries, these people are there because they want to be there, and you'll, you'll definitely feel the passion of Texas. And I think it's a great opportunity, especially if you've got the young ones coming up. You know, hey, see the best in the world. They're here. Don't miss this opportunity. And I'll tell you what, um, I'm, I'm a novice to lacrosse. What can they really get away with? Because I know they're banging out there. I mean, a little this, a little this. What can they get away with? Uh, there's some physicality to it. I mean, there's some bump, bumping and everything, but um, it's not like a football game. It's not going to see somebody laid out, uh, you know, helmet to helmet stuff. But there's a lot of contact, a lot of people. They're just working their butts off there on the field. And it is great to see these world class athletes working so hard competing at the top level of their game. So get out there, incredible family fun, affordable, the world's best are in town, world lacrosse, and women, girls are getting more into it, right? I oh, mean, yeah. there's no. scholarship opportunities. We, we've got 13,000 kids playing uh, in the in the, college, in the front range area. Mm -hmm. And uh, the growth, actually there's been more growth on the women's side of the game in Colorado in recent years. And yeah, scholarship opportunities, absolutely, at the Division One level, but uh, you know, Division Two, II, Three, it's all growing. In fact, it's one of the few sports it is growing in the United States. It's been covered uh, in the media. So. You know what I love is World Cup soccer was so big right now, and I know kids were watching it going, oh, I want to be on that TV someday in front of the masses, the millions. And of course, you got the Super Bowl kids watching, they're going, wow, I want to be playing that football game. You've got young lacrosse uh, up and coming players that are like, here's the best, I want to do this someday. Oh, the kids are so excited to come out, and you know, it's not like in some sports where you know the professional athletes way over there, and I'm in my seats. They're intermingling all the time. The athletes walk through the village to their games. You get to meet and sometimes take pictures with the athletes. It's, it's really a great interaction and experience with the kids, parents, and the players. I mean, they love having these, these young kids come up to them and say, can I have your autograph? Can I take your picture sure. with you? And they're right there, you know, after their games doing those kinds of things. And there's a huge local component as well. We've got uh, University of Denver players on uh, Team Canada. Uh, Team USA, the Iroquois, Zach Miller, young freshman, standout uh, with the University of Denver Pioneers. He's on the Iroquois. Jesse Schwartzman, who plays for the Outlaws, he's the goalie for Team USA, okay. so he's a huge local component as well. Love it. The best in the world, world lacrosse, Rick Rich. Hey, it's affordable and the players are accessible. Get out there and enjoy. You want to win tickets for Saturday night's games? Click on the link below.